Hi everyone, I'm your host Neil Balthaser and welcome to Ultra Mobility Mini Review where I cover just the essentials in a five minute RV review. Today it's an overview of a 2018 Galleria 24T by Coachman. The Galleria 24T is one of only three Class B vans with three captain's chairs up front. It competes with the Roadtrek CS Adventurous and the Winnebago Era 70B. Like its competitors, the 24T is built on the Mercedes Sprinter 3500 chassis and comes with the 3 liter V6 diesel engine with a 5 speed automatic transmission that delivers 188 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. This is the upgraded Mercedes chassis that has all the Mercedes safety features, including blind spot monitoring, lane keeping assist, collision avoidance, and automatic high beams and windshield wipers. This coach is built on the 170 inch wheelbase sprinter chassis, which means you also get dually rear wheels and Coachman has also opted for the extended length chassis, which means that the 24T's length is 24 feet, three inches, one of the longest class B vans available on the market today. This coach will require two standard parking spaces on the street or in parking lots. This is not a four season coach. There are water lines and holding tanks exposed to the outside and that means that you will need to winterize it. However, the 2019 model year Galleria's offered the polar protection package, which does turn this coach into a true four season RV. More about that in my full review. The Galleria comes in four floor plan options, the 24A, which has a permanent bed in the back, the 24FL, which has a front lounge, the 24Q, which has quad captain's chairs up front, and the model we're reviewing, the 24T, which has three captain's chairs up front, your lounge slash bedroom in the back, your galley midsection along the driver's side, with your bathroom across the aisle. The galley is equipped with an induction cooktop. You can opt for a two burner propane stove if you like, a stainless steel sink, a large compressor refrigerator with a separate freezer, a convection microwave, plenty of storage and plenty of counter prep space. The bathroom is a three piece wet bath, which means the shower shares the same area with the rest of the bathroom. The bathroom features an innovative water conservation system which recirculates water as it's warming up. The 24T has two lounges, one in the rear and one up front. A pedestal table can be set up in both locations. The rear lounge features an LCD TV and the sofa electrically reclines to become your bed. You have three ultra leather color choices, cashmere, onyx, and fog and two wood color choices, high gloss maple or high gloss cherry. On the exterior, Coachman is following the trend of clean automotive styling with minimal graphics and branding and dark tinted automotive type glass. You can opt for upgraded aluminum wheels. There are three exterior color options available, brilliant silver, arctic white and black. The 24T comes with some nice standard features, including a liquid propane powered generator, a rear screen door, upgraded insulation, Amish crafted cabinets and drawers, multiplex wiring with mobile app controls, and a high capacity lead acid battery coupled with an inverter. One of the biggest upgrades, however, is to the LI3 lithium battery system powered by Xantrex. This upgrades your lead acid batteries to high capacity lithium batteries, a larger inverter and an under hood generator. The Galleria is also available on the Mercedes four wheel drive chassis. The Galleria line comes with a one year 12,000 mile coach warranty and one year of roadside assistance. As far as price, the MSRP for the base model 24T is 140,000, but an upgraded 24T that we'll be reviewing has a dealer listed price of just under $100,000. If you're in the market for a Mercedes Sprinter camper van with three captain's chairs up front and can be upgraded to four wheel drive with a very capable lithium system, then you need to watch my full review of the Galleria 24T where I'll give you a thorough balanced review and give you my final buying recommendation coming later this week. Okay, that wraps it up. If you enjoyed this week's mini review, then a thumbs up would be appreciated. Subscribe and ring that little bell to be notified when mini reviews like this drop on my channel. And as always, thank you for watching Ultra Mobility Mini Review, 
where I cover just the essentials in a five-minute review. We'll see you next time, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.